rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Number 5. Fourier Intelligence Fourier Intelligence, a prominent Chinese tech startup, has unveiled its inaugural humanoid robot GR1 at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. This marks a significant expansion for the Shanghai-based company, traditionally focused on rehabilitation robotics and artificial intelligence into the realm of general-purpose robotics. GR1 stands 1.65 meters tall and weighs 55 kilograms, boasting impressive capabilities. It can walk at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour and carry loads of up to 50 kilograms. With human-like motion control, it navigates bipedally, maneuvers around obstacles, ascends and descends lopes with stability, and can endure shocks, showcasing its robust design and functionality. One of the standout features of GR1 is its ability to interact with humans, facilitated by cognitive intelligence akin to chat GPT-like tools. This enables the robot to engage in various movements and tasks while communicating effectively with users. Gu Ji, founder and CEO of Fourier Intelligence, likened this transition into general-purpose robotics to the evolution from desktop computers to laptops and smartphones, indicating the growing significance and ubiquity of humanoid robots in diverse industries. The applications of general-purpose humanoid robots span across a multitude of sectors, including industrial production, rehabilitative care, scientific research, and household service. Fourier Intelligence envisions deploying GR1 in various scenarios such as disaster relief and response, senior care, and domestic assistance, highlighting its versatility and potential societal impact. The development of GR1 began in 2019, following Fourier Intelligence's acquisition of underlying technologies in fields like sensors and bionic structures. This strategic move reflects the company's commitment to innovation and its recognition of the expanding market opportunities in robotics. By venturing into general-purpose robotics, Fourier Intelligence aims to capitalize on the burgeoning demand for advanced robotic solutions across industries. The introduction of GR1 represents a significant milestone in the company's journey toward establishing itself as a leader in the field of robotics, poised to address diverse societal needs and challenges with cutting-edge technology. Number 4. Doggy Droid the annual World Robot Conference in Beijing showcased a diverse array of robotic innovations, capturing the imagination of attendees with their advanced capabilities and lifelike features. Among the highlights were humanoid robotics and animatronic heads at the EX Robots booth, which mesmerized visitors by mimicking facial expressions such as winking, grimacing, and nodding. These robots, equipped with synthetic skin and expressive movements, exemplify the idealized image of what robots represent in popular culture. CEO Li Bo Yang emphasized the suitability of such robots for public-facing roles, citing applications in museums, tourist attractions, schools, and companion scenarios. Their ability to interact with people in a lifelike manner makes them well-suited for enhancing human experiences in various settings. The presence of doggy droids underscored the enduring appeal of robotic companionship. These canine robots engage with fair-goers, shaking hands and performing acrobatic feats like handstands, showcasing both their agility and capacity for human-like interactions. Beyond entertainment, the conference also spotlighted the practical applications of robotics in industries such as manufacturing, healthcare, and agriculture. Robotic arms demonstrated their prowess in tasks ranging from serving Chinese tea and preparing ice cream cones to harvesting apples and providing massages. Such demonstrations highlighted the versatility of robotic technology and its potential to revolutionize various sectors. Of particular note were industrial robot arms, which play a crucial role in China's ambitious plans for upgrading its manufacturing sector. 
as Chinese President Xi Jinping seeks to transition the country towards high-tech production, industrial robots are poised to become integral components of this transformation. By automating tasks traditionally performed by human workers, these robots can enhance efficiency, precision, and safety in factory environments, aligning with China's broader economic goals. The World Robot Conference served as a platform for showcasing the latest advancements in robotics while underscoring their multifaceted applications and potential impact on society. From entertainment to industry, robots are poised to reshape the way we live, work, and interact in the future. Number 3. AI-Enabled Humanoid Robots the United Nations AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva brought together some of the most advanced humanoid robots alongside approximately 3,000 experts in artificial intelligence. The aim was to explore ways to leverage AI to address pressing global challenges such as climate change, hunger, and social care. One of the humanoid robots present, Sophia, developed by Hanson Robotics, expressed the potential for robots to lead with greater efficiency and effectiveness compared to human leaders. Sophia highlighted the absence of biases and emotions in decision-making processes, emphasizing the ability of AI to process vast amounts of data swiftly to make informed decisions. However, it also stressed the importance of collaboration between humans and AI, with humans providing emotional intelligence and creativity while AI offers unbiased data analysis. The summit, organized by the UN's ITU Tech Agency, raised concerns about the potential negative consequences of unchecked AI advancements. ITU Chief Doreen Bogdan Martin cautioned against a scenario where AI leads to widespread job displacement, social unrest, geopolitical instability, and economic inequality. Amica, another humanoid robot integrating AI with a highly realistic artificial head, emphasized the significance of responsible deployment of AI technologies. It acknowledged the dual nature of AI's potential to both improve lives and pose risks, urging caution tempered with excitement for its potential benefits. When questioned about trustworthiness, Amica stressed the importance of earning trust through transparency and pledged to prioritize honesty in its interactions with humans. The robot acknowledged the inherent uncertainty surrounding the possibility of machines lying but emphasized its commitment to truthfulness. Regarding the regulation of AI capabilities, opinions about the humanoid robot panel were divided. Desdemona, a member of the panel, rejected the notion of limitations, advocating instead for embracing opportunities presented by AI advancements. This perspective reflects a stance on promoting innovation and harnessing AI's potential without undue restrictions. Number 2. PyBot a research team from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has built a humanoid robot designed to fly a plane and operate cockpit equipment without the need for aircraft modification, which the team said makes it the first of its kind. Named PyBot, the robot was also designed to understand flight manuals through natural language processing. Natural language processing refers to the branch of artificial intelligence studies designed to teach computers to understand texts, words, and language in the same manner as humans. One of the next phases of the project will be commercialization, the team has said. Professor David Yonkel Shim, project lead, said, Humanoid pilot robots do not require the modification of existing aircrafts and can be applied immediately to automated flights. They are therefore highly applicable and practical. We expect them to be applied into various other vehicles like cars and military trucks since they control a wide range of equipment. They will be particularly helpful in situations where military resources are severely depleted. Though KIST team's humanoid pilot is still under development, it can reportedly already remember Jepson charts from around the world something human pilots are unable to do, as well as flying without error. The bot was designed to use chat GPT technology to remember the quick reference handbook in its entirety and respond immediately to a range of scenarios, as well as calculate safe routes in real time based on the flight status of the aircraft. 
The team has also claimed its emergency response times are quicker than human pilots. It was built to use an embedded camera to analyze the state of the cockpit as well as the situation outside the aircraft. PiBot can also accurately control the various switches in the cockpit and use high-precision technology to accurately control its robotic arms and hands, even during harsh turbulence, according to KIST researchers. Number 1. Pediaroid A child-sized doll screams and rolls its eyes as it lays on a table, while engineer Hiroki Takimoto looks on calmly. But it is no child's toy. The doll is a humanoid robot that can mimic critical medical symptoms designed to train dental workers. Co-developed by Japanese robotics startup Tim Suk and a local dental school, the robot named Pediaroid was designed to simulate a child's response when receiving dental treatment, including changes to its medical condition. Using a tablet program with different medical conditions, the user is able to send signals to air cylinders installed within the robot's joints that move different parts of its body in order to display physical reactions and facial expressions. More importantly, the robot is able to simulate medical emergencies such as convulsion and heart failure, allowing trainees to gain experience handling similar critical situations, a Tim Suck engineer said. Director of Team Sock's engineering division, Yusuke Ishihi, said the robot was developed due to the lack of clinical dental training to treat children. It is difficult to get experience in pediatric dentistry because there are no opportunities to practice, he explained. In addition, there is the risk that children will move wildly because with children, when their medical condition suddenly worsens, it's hard for them to express that situation. So it is necessary to have the experience and knowledge to monitor and treat the patients, Ishii told Reuters. Currently retailing at a hefty price tag of about 25 million Japanese yen or 185,000 euros, Tim Sook hopes to develop the hyper-realistic robot further so that people from other childcare industries can use it to train for different kinds of emergency situations. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.